Hola amigos, me quedo Sam Possible, amigas, my name is Tafrix16, welcome back to another episode of Reading Your Comments, episode 155, and it's Thursday, or maybe Wednesday, if you're watching this a day early on Patreon, shout out to all the patrons, but the option to watch these as well as the reaction videos up to a day early, and eat your name in the description as well. But, regardless what day you're watching this on, let's go ahead and read some comments. Gino's got another road trip cooking show on ITV at the moment, traveling around Italy with his wife and kids, I've noticed his driving's a lot better with his family on board. I wonder if Fred and Gordon just watched that show and punched the air, but to be fair, they're not great drivers either. Any plans to continue Gavin and Stacy? You'll love it. I was planning on doing an episode before the year ended. Uh, that didn't end up happening, but it's currently on my plans for January. Noah, would you be open to reacting to a Just James video? He's a YouTuber who takes British TV shows and edits them for comedic effect. Uh, they're genuinely very funny. The videos are about five minutes long. Probably not, to be honest. I'm not really in the business of reacting to other YouTubers. Um, I, I, the only time I've ever done that was for a meme. I think some of you might know what video I'm talking about, but in general, no. Hi, yeah, removing the dislike numbers seems a little bit sinister to me. Likes only, stay safe, all the best for you. Yeah, you're gonna have to talk to YouTube about that one. I mean, I'm sure all of you have noticed by now, but YouTube decided uh, that they would remove the uh, dislike count. Uh, so they claim because they, they their research, their research shows that uh, a lot of ca videos are targets of dislike campaigns. Uh, I'm sure it totally has nothing to do with the fact that the most disliked video in the history of YouTube was YouTube Rewind 2018. I'm sure that definitely totally has nothing to do with it. But yeah, it's just a never stupid change, basically. The Grumbleweed dressed as the fireman was Graham Walker. He played the old farmer who sold the pig to Max and Patty in Road of Nowhere. Oh, okay, you see, I, I, I was saying in that, uh, what was it called? Uh, darts uh, bullseye episode that's it um i was saying the bullseye episode i feel like i had seen the grumbleweeds and something that was it he was a max and patty yeah yeah okay that was the fifth episode i think okay that makes sense maybe i'll do a full reaction to the grumbleweeds they have a show i think they, they probably had it. i think they had a show yeah maybe i'll do a reaction to their show at some point phil taylor the pro darts player had his mb revoked uh, after he was found guilty of sexually assaulting two female fans people just seem to forget that uh, and he's hero worshipped by most darts fans. Yeah, that's a yikes. I, I guess I somehow glossed that when I was looking up uh, if anybody in the show had done anything terrible. But yeah, my bad. I didn't uh, didn't know that coming in. <laughs> There's one episode where a mass murderer took part and he was caught because he took part in a show. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I almost want to watch it, but I also don't want to showcase the guy. I don't know. I'm thinking about it, but I don't even know if I can find it, to be honest. But that's... I imagine being wanted for m multiple murders and just being like, you know what? I think I'll go on a dart show. <laughs> yeah, Big Frank, never the best heavyweight champ, but one of the most popular. Yeah, I looked up Frank Bruno's career and man, what luck. Like he, um, he had four shots at the heavyweight title. He lost the first three. On his last shot, he won. And then his first title defense was against Mike Tyson. And he got knocked out in the third round and Tyson also broke his orbital bone which effectively ended his career just like that. Which is fucking brutal, but at least he won the title. The 15th episode of Mr. Bean was indeed a compilation of previously seen bits, but episode 14 was exclusive to VHS release Unseen Bean. It's only 13 episodes originally aired on TV between 90 and 95. Wow. Uh, episodes aired months apart, uh, so when a new one came along, it was a big event. I made sure to record them and watch them over and over as a kid. Uh, by the way, I had many arguments with my sister over whether or not uh, Bean was actually an alien. I'm gonna go with Pro Alien, to be honest. I feel like he was an alien. It makes a lot of sense. Just another thing to point out about this episode, there's a deleted scene which shows uh, Bean actually winning the turkey in a guest away to the turkey competition, and he cheats by using a calculator and weighing some scales. The scene was included when it was released on VHS, but it's not shown in other versions. Huh, that's weird. Maybe they thought it was just like too much filler. To be fair, I, I guess, yeah, they didn't need to show him acquiring the turkey, so I, I guess I can understand. Do it yourself, Mr. Bean, the New Year's a special episode for early January? Maybe. I have, as previously stated, I'm going to do the Still Game Hogney special uh, on New Year's Eve. But maybe I could do that the 2nd of January? Well, we'll see. Santa is played by Roy Barraclough. Uh, he started as a partner for comedy legend Les Dawson. He then played Alec Gilroy in Cor Coronation Street. You saw him being threatened by Alan Bradley just... Uh, as he was about to be hit by a tram in Blackpool. Wow. That was a long time ago. Was that classic Coronation Street? Was that, when, when was this? Was that, was that the video you're talking about? I don't even remember, to be honest. Was that my reaction to classic Coronation Street? Because if so, that was uh, August 15th, 2018. 
Bad Education has a great Christmas episode, I suggest you watch that. I would, but it's at the end of the second series, and the series one finale uh, made it decently clear to me that the show is going to have some continuity, so I'm not just going to skip the second series. That American in Basil Brush has a moon accent? Yeah, I mean, I don't mind being made fun of, but like, it wasn't even an accent. It wasn't an accent anything. She just sounded like she did a lot of meth. Little Becky should have been the captain in Crystal Maze. She was the star of the show, not only in playing her games, uh, but with her all-around spirit, energy, and enthusiasm. A bit of research tells me that she's now a doctor in Australia. Also, she's nicknamed the Pocket Rocket, and that she moves so fast that she makes her colleagues dizzy, which seems 100% accurate uh, after watching the show. Don't know how you got that information, to be honest with you, but to be honest with you, but good for her. I'm proud of you, Becky. The mental image of Michael going postal on them is very funny. Say quickly one more time, bro, that kid had more patience than me. A after after 30 seconds of yelling, I would have fucking lost it. <laughs> Regarding Mumsy, she appeared on the Crystal Maze for the first two series and left and was replaced by her sister, Auntie Sabrina, who was played by the same actress. Mumsy then came back uh, for the fourth series, which is a part of, uh, but left again uh, the year after when Rich Brain left, uh, and at that, she came back for the 2016 charity special that did a reboot. At the time, she was played by a different actress, and it was explicitly not uh, Stephen Merchant's mother either. So, I I've heard about the Stephen Merchant special. Uh, is that worth watching? If anyone who's seen it, let me know if it's worth watching, because it is, I'd be down to watch it. This reminded me, your reaction to Gladiators is possibly my favorite video. Yours had me proper laughing, especially the women's duel on the podiums. Bonk. Rewatched it recently and found it equally hilarious. That was a while ago, too. Shit. I have to... Yeah, I'm gonna look this one up, too. I mean... UK Gladiators. I remember that video very well. I remember having fun watching it, but when was this? That was... March 15th, 2019. Man alive. March 15th, 2019. Some of this shit was just so long ago, it blows my mind. I have to tell you what, I bet you got 10,000 views too. Well, I mean, I, I actually, there is a Christmas special. I, I found one, so maybe. We'll see. The boy in Crystal Maze is the genius of the pressure pads. Uh, the right way to do it is put the last two pressure pads on top of each other and put the weight, uh, the two weight on top of that. We'll let him have that. Yeah, you can't not let him have that. Like, I don't care if that's how you're supposed to do it or not. That was freaking genius. When is the outnumbered Christmas out? Uh, whenever Little Dot decides to unblock it. I've already recorded it. I've already seen it. Um, but now I'm just waiting for the copyright unblock. I mean, I could release it tomorrow if you want on Daily Motion. I'm sure you don't want that. So, providing that's not what you want, which it's, it's probably not, uh, it's out of my hands at this point, so we just got to be patient. Alright, y'all, yeah, that's gonna do it for another episode of Reading Your Comments. The comments in this video were pulled from five videos. Last week's episode of Reading Your Comments, number 154, American Rex to Bullseye 2, American Rex to Mr. Bean TV Show, American Rex to Basil Brush 2, <clears throat> Excuse me, an American Rex to the Crystal Maze 3. So if you want a chance to get your comment read next week, there are five more videos you can comment on. This video, the reaction video that came out yesterday, which was the British Empire 3, uh, the reaction video that comes out tomorrow, the one that comes out on Saturday, the one that comes out on Monday, and the one that comes out on Tuesday. Those videos are the places to comment if you want a chance to get your comment read next week's episode of reading your comments. But that is going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, there in the description down below. Uh, my Twitter, if you want to follow me, my Patreon, if you want to support me, uh, or my Patreon. Wait, no, I fucked it up. If you want to follow any of my social media links, uh, my Twitter, where you can follow me, my Patreon, if you want to support me, my Twitch, if you want to follow me. Uh, is that it? I, I, I did it out of order, and I've completely screwed myself on the outro. Wait, let's, let's see. It's my... My Twitter if you want to follow me. My Twitch if you want to follow me. No. My Twitter if you want to follow me. My Twitch. Hmm. Yeah, I screwed it up. You get it. All that stuff. It's all in the description. Uh, if you want to become a patron of mine, uh, you can do so for uh, up to one dollar, one pound. You get extra direction videos as well as reading your comments up to a day early and you get your name in the description. With all that being said, though, all the other stuff's in there. Just look at, just look at the description. It's all in there. With all that being said, my name is Taffrey Dean. This has been another episode of reading your comments in episode one fifty five, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.